By a decree on the 2nd of February, 1947, Father Jean-Baptiste Janssens, the then General of the Society of Jesus, created Jamshit Poor Mission and entrusted it to the Maryland Jesuit Province of the United States of America. Moved by the Spirit of Christ and the missionary zeal of St. Ignatius, six dedicated, strong men, Carol I. Fassi, Quinn Enright, Edward Deneen, John Holland, James Kehoe, and Anderson Bakewell arrived at Tata Nagar Railway Station on the 14th of January, 1948. The Steel City, being their immediate home, they rented a house popularly known as the Pink Bungalow at 43 Circuit House area. From a rented house in the Steel City, today Jamshedpur province reaches out to the vast regions of Jaharkand, West Bengal, and Orissa. Taking the city of Jamshedpur as a starting point, one finds the following ministries. In Jamshedpur, Loyola School provides quality education to the children of all communities that make up the workforce of Tata companies. Loyola Project School, on the other hand, renders its service to the poor, dropout children of the poorer families. Loyola Alumni Association renders its free medical service to some 300 of the poor attending its dispensary every Saturday. Loyola Jesuits are involved in the pastoral care of the faithful through the Parish of Infant Jesus, located in the school premises. Jamshedpur Jesuits are known in the country through its management school, XLRI, initially referred to as Xavier Labor Relations Institute. From its humble beginning, offering managerial skills and competence to the workers of Tata Iron and Steel Company, to the present state of a full-blown graduate school of management, it offers quality education, scientific information, and personal formation to all the students and practicing managers who come to XLRI. Loyola B.Ed. College, situated in Telco, is another Jesuit venture aimed at training the future teachers of the schools of Jaharkand and neighboring states, thanks to the dedicated work of Father Kim Judge and Father George Hess. The Jesuit Novitiate and Retreat Center at Mango lay a spiritual foundation in the lives of young novices. Through Upasana Retreat Center, spiritual renewal programs are provided to religious sisters, priests, catechists, and other aspiring laypeople of the diocese and the province. Xavier Institute of Tribal Education, XITE, is another pioneering project initiated by Father P.D. Thomas, caters to the tribal youth of Jaharkand by preparing them to be the future managers and professionals. In the outskirts of Jamshedpur at Ganda Dundi is St. John's School, a unique school where Jesuits, in collaboration with the village committee, provide modern education to the underprivileged children of the Santal tribe. At about 35 kilometers from Jamshedpur at Chaira is Loyola High School. This school was started keeping in mind the poor educational conditions of the locality. Still further in the interiors at Rerua is Peter Arupe Center. It serves to the needs of the local tribe and aims to bring the children in contact with the mainstream of education system. Chaibasa is the oldest mission station of Jamshedpur province. The Maryland Jesuits took over from Belgian missionaries of Ranchi province and developed St. Xavier's Parish at Chaibasa. Thereafter, the Jesuits moved to Lupengutu, establishing St. Xavier's High School. Lupengutu became a central place for the apostolic works of John Peshur mission. Father John Dini worked tirelessly among the Ho tribe. Evangelizing and catechizing Hoes, he established several mass centers across the West Singbong district. Today, Father John Dini is hailed the apostle of Hoes. Subsequently, parishes, medical centers, and schools in the interior jungles of Kolhan region were established. St. Ignatius School and Paris at Renga, St. John's High School, and St. John de Brito Parish at Tapasai, Paul Miki School and Parish at Bordor, St. Xavier's School, and Queen of Peace Parish at Basahatu witnessed the apostolic works in the region. The Tribal Research and Training Center TRTC is a unique apostolate run by the province for the all-around development of the Ho Society. TRTC provides non-formal education for the adults and free legal aid to the local community. It organizes oppressed tribals to fight legal battles for their rights. Furthermore, TRTC undertakes watershed and other development projects to enhance the living conditions of the Ho's. In connection with other religious and diocesan priests, it conducts seminars and workshops on various social issues. The community college at TRTC 
trains youth in motor mechanics, driving, computer, and language skills. Further away, through CSWC, the Claver Social Welfare Center, Jesuits have touched the lives of almost 30,000 leprosy patients so far, rendering medical care and rehabilitation. The primary objective of CSWC, namely to eradicate leprosy from the entire district, is beginning to bear fruit. Dahangbad, the coal capital of Asia, has seen the works of the Jesuits mainly in the field of education and lay collaboration. The Nobili campus at Digwadi consists of English medium primary school, high school, and a junior college. It also runs a Hindi medium school to cater to the poorer section of the coal belt. Jesuits at DNS run a parish in the campus providing spiritual assistance to the faithful. In the heart of the Hanbad city is the Denobili Bhavan, the secretariat of Denobili branch schools. It began as an example of lay collaboration and a way of upgrading the existing schools at CMRI, Sijwa, Chandrapura, Mugma, Maitong, and Sindri. At the outskirts of Dhanbad is a remote village called Tundi. Jesuits are working with the local tribes through educational activities, health care, and evangelization in order to improve their quality of life. St. Mary's Center at Chandan Kiriari is another place where Jesuits are involved in vocational training, faith formation, free medical service, and electromagnetic therapy. In the neighboring state of West Bengal, Jilling Mission was started in the last decade with the sole purpose of giving human dignity to another socially neglected community. Subsequently, a tangible contribution to the people of Jilling came in the form of Loyola High School, a Bengali medium school in the remote village catering to the poorest of the poor. Three decades ago, Jamshedpur Jesuits entered into the state of Orissa, now known as Odisha. Bhubaneswar, the capital city of Odisha, has witnessed the presence of Jesuits in many ways. Human Life Center caters to the needs of the young men and women, teaching them vocational skills. HLC is also involved in the total literacy campaign in seven slums in the capital. The most significant contribution is made by the Jesuits in the field of higher learning through XIMB, the Xavier Institute of Management, Bhubaneswar. At the invitation of then Arisa Chief Minister J.B. Patnaik, Jesuits came to serve the people of Orissa with a goal of training the students to become managers for the society and its development. XIMB is the only management institution in India which conducts business management and rural management courses in the same campus. Senderet, the research and training arm of XIM, has, through its varied projects, given legitimacy to the works of XIMB. In the short span of 10 years, Loyola School in Bhubaneswar has proven to be a true Jesuit institute, making an impact on the students by providing them with the value education, disciplined learning, and overall development of every child that walks into Loyola School. The Rainbow School, an Aria medium school, caters to the underprivileged, poor children of the neighborhood slums, who otherwise have no access to formal education. Similarly, the parish at Loyola attracts hundreds of faithful to practice their Christian faith. St. Joseph's School at Kendrapara, about 70 kilometers from Bhubaneswar, is another English medium school which caters to the rural children. Keeping St. Joseph's School as a base, Jesuits are involved in the service of migrants and refugees in the neighboring coastal district. Loyola School at Sankabanga and Baripada, situated between the borders of Orissa and Jaharkand offers English education to children of the Santal tribe. In the Kandamal jungles, which witnessed the heroic struggle of the tribal people, whose priests and religious women practice their faith unhindered by the efforts of communal and sectarian groups, is Tamuri Banda. Jesuits at Tamuri Banda run Divyanugra Parish. A majority of the Catholic population is situated in the hills. On the hills of Pajiketi is the Loyola School a most remote school of the Jamshedpur province. Within a short span of time, in spite of the poor infrastructure, Jesuits have won the hearts of the villagers. At Rutungia village, Jesuits are involved in the pastoral and educational activities in the service of the Kond tribe. There are 37 mass centers spread across Rutungia and neighboring villages. The Xavier school in Rutungia is today known as the best rural school in the state of Orissa. Saha Vikas in Pulbani, about 150 kilometers from the state capital, 
houses Xavier Community College. Much was done to the youth of Condamal through this center when Condamal riots broke out in 2008. In the words of Father Carl Dinscher, one of the five remaining American Jesuits in Jamshedpur, the history of the mustard seed that grew to be a gigantic shrub could be summed up thusly. These were the beginnings. They were small. We lived in rented houses, 43 circuit area, later 121 circuit area, and the whole of the city was small. Loyola itself, where we began, was uh, started under very poor circumstances. I remember teaching classes under a banyan tree, under a, uh, on the handball court, uh, Latin classes in the school bus and so on. They were small beginnings, but joyful beginnings. There is no higher religion than human service. To work for the common good is the greatest creed.